mechanics and technology is well combined. Check out the card tray. The face to screen sign is as user friendly as it was and with dust proof and waterproof rubber seal. Power off, turn over to heat up the bag. No one else this time. By heating it, the adhesives on the back cover has been melted. The back cover can be easily lifted up with the suction cap. Snap tear down card into the gap. Slide around. On top, it is a large piece of thermal film with integrated wireless charging coil. The pure black interior is very neat. And before going further, the text and patterns we see are all engraved on the back glass. Black gradient around the back cover. It is a continuation of the 9th gen Explorer design style, which gives us more technological futuristic kind of feeling. Now we'll have to remove the top cover. The main part is conventionally on the right. We have the battery heater special foil, which has the NFC and wireless charging foils. Unbolt the screws for the wireless is charging on the cover board. Remove the cover board and disconnect battery. There is another battery connector. We need to remove the camera shield. Before disconnecting it, unbolt the screw for NFC on the cover board. After disconnecting the flashlight, you can remove the camera protective shield. For each camera module, there is a cushion equipped in order to better protect the lenses. This is metal protective shield. I bet they have never waved it. Here is a closer look at the 120x telephoto lens. To the right side of it, we have the motherboard. You will see how the motherboard got shaped due to this lens. Remove the PCB. There is no subboard. The plastic cover board is very thick. Outer edge of the main speaker is surrounded by the dustproof and waterproof rubber ring. Let's take a look at the overall step. Camera, motherboard and battery respectively. We have three equal parts basically. Pass management is done pretty well. With the camera, there is a metal cover for fixation. That's how we can tell. Disconnect telephoto lens, portrait, wide angle and the main camera connector. Remove the rear camera module. The back is also covered with copper foil. Tear the copper foil. Unbuckle the connector. Take out the front camera. Here is its closer look. On the rear we have 120x telephoto lens with separate OIS, 20 megapixels portrait lens with 2 times optical zoom, 48 megapixels man lens with both optical and electrical image stabilization, and lastly 20 megapixels wide angle lens with 2.5 cm macro capability. Let's talk about the 3 stage structure design. The rear camera takes up a lot of space due to the 120x telephoto lens but looks very eye catching. Due to this, the motherboard is shaped like the Huawei's P shaped motherboards. You see the motherboards are getting smaller and compact because camera components are getting more popular. Everyone has felt the superiority of the camera module. This is the magic of Xiaomi. On this side we have two batteries. Now disconnect the display connector fingerprint connector and the top antennas. You can then remove the motherboard. The most obvious difference between the regular Xiaomi 10 and Mi 10 Ultra is the double layer motherboard on Mi 10 Ultra. Using the welding and stacking method, the regular model however uses the cable connection method. And in order to hold the huge 120x zoom lens, the top design is completely different from the regular model. And they have put the original upper speakers into one single piece at the position of the air speaker. They have specially set up an independent metal shield. Of course, cushioning foam hides underneath. Next, we'll do motherboard layer separation. Set the heat gun temperature to 400 degrees. Slowly pry up the edge with razor blade. You can easily remove the upper layer. Under the microscope, we can see that the CPU is not sealed. This is Xiaomi's consistent style. What's interesting is the ROM has been sealed and the bass band on the side also had sealing treatment. Here on the motherboard we have the UFS 3.1 flash memory Snapdragon 865 processor with the LPDDR5 frame, X555 G Bassband, the card slot and the Type-C port on the motherboard. Here we have the audio decoding and the PMIC high pass chipset soldered onto the motherboard. By comparing it with my finger you can see that the earpiece is relatively large, it supports stereo sound. X axis linear motor fixed to the middle frame by adhesive. Use a flat blade to pry up and remove. The battery is equipped with adhesive strips. Adhesive strips for the two batteries are separated. Tear the left side and to the right side. Lift up the battery. The battery can easily be removed. 
The total capacity of the two batteries is 4500 mAh. This time, the Ultra version uses the Butterfly Series configuration's graphene-based battery. Under constant charging current, it can double the charging power. The measured battery output voltage is around 8 volts. The device can boot with just the top one plugged in, but with just the bottom one, it doesn't boot. The specs of the two batteries are separated, since it supports 120 watts wired fast charging. We have put the screen of the regular Xiaomi 10 model onto the Ultra model and does a boot test. We have got no problem with the display and touch but may not support the 120Hz screen refresh rate. For display teardown, this time let's try something different. Open the freezer, put the display inside it. The temperature is set at minus 180 degrees. Set the timer to 3 minutes. You can see upon opening the middle frame, inner display and the outer display separated all at once. Due to the difference in sensor positioning on the motherboard, the display hole punch location has been adjusted. Between the screen and the middle frame, there is a large piece of graphite sticker. Below is the in-screen fingerprint module. After taking off the sticker, you can see the large vapor chamber plate. The material used on the heat expression is really sufficient. Together with the Xiaomi Mi 10 Ultra, Xiaomi also released a 55W wireless charging station, 100W car charger and a 20W wireless charging the wireless charger, I think it's quite interesting. When you place the device on it, there will be a small green dot searching for the location of your charging coil, then start charging. When you remove the device, it will go back. The area on the disk is large. You don't need to think about where to place your device. Now let's look at the charging curve. When the 50 watts wireless charger is used, it will only take 42 minutes to charge the phone from 0 to 100%. When you use the mind blowing 120 watts wired charger, you can charge it up in 25 minutes from 0 to 100. Now here comes the important thing, thermals of Xiaomi 10 Ultra. Copper foil covered under the screen, considerably large piece of graphite socking plate, heat sink, thermal copper foil and thermal paste on the motherboard and large thermal film. This is a really well thought heat expression mechanism but it is still subject to our thermal testing. With the